Mark, I imagine you feel pretty good about your team when you're hitting five home runs a night. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. But it's not just the power. I mean, I, I know what you're saying, but we're doing a lot of things well. So I'm, I'm happy with a lot of things. Uh, it's early, but we're showing a lot of good signs. Uh, to that end, I mean, it seems like outside looking in, like the approaches have been pretty good, at least through the first four games. I, I mean, yeah. what are you kind of seeing, at least at the plate? Well, I see a talented, older lineup. Uh, even, but our young guys have some experience and, and went out and played summer ball. And then you add a Petri into the mix, who's an extremely talented kid. We're just taking great at bats. You know, Monty's done a really nice job um, giving these guys an identity um, and what we want them to do daily. And uh, it's it's looks good right now. You mentioned a chip on the shoulder. Does that come from with the way the midweeks went last year? Is that something else? Where do you think the chip came from today? A lot of things. A lot of things. I'll let you guys do some research. Uh, but there were a lot of things that got us uh, – Got our got our uh, got our attention. Yes, Mark, you mentioned it still being early, and these aren't SEC arms to the same degree you'll face week in and week out in the league. How do you evaluate that? What are you looking for and paying attention to when you're evaluating early season at bats? Well, I, I wanted to see us be able to get on a good fastball, and and you know they had a guy throwing 95, 96 a day, and and we did a great job making the adjustment. So I was really encouraged by that. They brought in their best lefty after that. And we made a great adjustment there. So uh, you need to be able to hit all kinds of pitches. Um, but I was anxious to see us against the 95 mile hour fastball today. I thought we did great. Uh, four straight games with double digits. Um, do you think that you'll be able to sustain a high level of offensive production when you hit conference play? I sure hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> we won't know till we find out. I guess Eli got the start tonight what did you see from him after that first inning and did the debut kind of go how you you hoped it would about about I mean I, I don't think I, he's got a lot to learn still he was very he he needs to learn how to relax a little bit more and channel all of his energy and he was going a little fast at times you know you saw you know most of the teams in the country right now are using the watch and so there were times he was sped up so much that he forgot to look for the pitch on the watch until he was already on the rubber so just freshman stuff but you see the talent you see the elite fastball you see the the command of all his off-speed pitches he didn't walk a batter um, and it was good to see him get out of that jam um, after you know the, the play that we didn't make and, and only give up the one run so saw some good things out of Eli tonight both Eli's yeah, I was going to ask about your second Eli. Uh, what, what did you What did you see out of him? Yeah, he was just good enough, um, and I, I think he can be better than what he was today. He's shown us that he's better, but he he battled through. Um, and that's the thing. I think we've seen some pitchers have success so far this year, um, but not be as good as they can be yet. And so that's that's a key. You know, when you're not when you don't have your best stuff or your best command, do you still give us a chance to win? And those guys are doing that. Eli did that tonight. Both Eli's on, on jurors, I guess just. For a guy like that, I mean, obviously he's immensely talented, but to be able to have him, and with how deep this pitching staff is, to be able to have him, you know, start some games in the midweek as opposed to throwing him in as a Sunday guy or whatever it might be in, in maybe another year. I mean, how valuable is that to be able to have that and, and give him that time and some of those those matchups? It's very valuable. You know, innings for young players, innings are very important, and so whether he stays there long term for us this year um, will be determined. We'll see if we need him in the bullpen at some point. But getting innings right now under his belt are extremely important. And so in a two in a two game midweek uh, situation, getting him a start, getting more innings under his belt rather than just getting him in for an inning or, or two, um, I think that'll that'll pay dividends. And just sticking on him one more, I, I guess a guy like that highly ranked and, and a guy that, you know, a lot of years probably is playing professional ball right now. I guess just what is the value of getting a guy like that on campus? And, you know, I know it's a, a little bit of a, a guessing game when you're recruiting guys, but how valuable is it to get a guy like that on campus? It's very valuable. I mean, you, you need, you need big time players to win at the end of the day, you need big time players to win. Uh, whether they're freshmen, whether they're transfers, whether they're your own guys that you've developed, you need big time players to win at this level. Um, and when you have them, you generally win. And when you don't, you don't. Um, so having him on campus and, and getting him through the draft last year was, was a key development for us. Mark, looking ahead to tomorrow, um, what went into the decision to start Hicks when we saw him in relief on opening day? Well, with you mean with him starting tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, we knew that he could throw that first game and then still bring him back for the Wednesday game. So it's it's again, it's just a matter of making moves that lead to the second and the third move. Um, using him short, you know, get him back out there, get his get his feet wet uh, after the injury last year, getting him back out there um, uh, for a short burst uh, this weekend allows us to bring him back and start on Wednesday. And now it's a second outing instead of uh, you know how's he going to be? You know, is he going to be nervous for his first outing? This is already a second outing. 
Ethan Petrie, how pleased are you with him offensively and then to go out there and, and to write and, and look, look fine out there? He's such a great kid, and he's showing that he's a very uh, immensely talented hitter. Um, we knew he was – you know, we knew last year going into the draft that he was this kind of player. Um, but then he came in in the fall, and, and he got pitched to a little bit, and he, and he was struggling to find his stroke. Um, but I swear, like two weeks ago, he just the light went on for him, and like you could just see it in BP, you could see it in the cages, um, and then you could start to see it with the swings he was taking on the field in batting practice, and then his first at bat, you could you could just see it coming. Like sometimes you look at the data, sometimes you just trust your eyes, and the eyes were just saying something's happening here. And uh, he's a great player. He works extremely hard. Uh, he's Big time team guy. He just wants to win, and you see what he can do for our lineup. He can really stretch our lineup. When you have that kind of hitter in the eight hole, it gives you it gives you optimism. What was the reasoning to not let Eli Jones finish out the seventh? Was it a uh, pitch count or just getting into too much trouble or something else? No, it was pitch count and getting other guys in the game as well. You talked about that jam Eli Jersey Mike got out of in the fourth inning. He had a, you know, had a mound conference there after the watch thing. Kind of what was his temperament like at that point, and what did you notice for him when he was able to block back in and get those two outs to keep the lead? Well, his temperament is always a challenge, but that's what makes him him. Uh, again, he's, we don't ask our, our guys to all be the same. We don't ask our guys to all be robots. Um, we want their personalities to come out. We want them to be who they are. But then you have to keep that within a framework of, of what do we need in this moment as a pitcher in a big moment. And again, I, he calmed down, he made big pitches, and he got out of a jam. All right, thank you. See you tomorrow.